boys and girls, ladies and gents, members of the Big Red Food Army, it's your boy Big Red and his main road dog, Little Red. And welcome to another Big Red Snack Attack. What do we have for snack today? Y'all saw us do the Japanese lemon heads. Well, here's the same people. We don't know what they call it because it's all in Japanese. And they made something that's supposed to be like a lemon head, but it's a cola. Look at the dude. He's a rock and roller cola because, look, he's got him a, one of them electric twangers. All right, so, again, we don't know nothing because we don't speak Japanesey. So, here we go. Open this puppy up. It smells weird. It smells like flat Pepsi. And there it is. It looks like a milk bed or a Whopper. Like stick it up your nose and it smells like flat Pepsi. Don't stick it in your Ew, gross. That'd be funny if it went up your nose and got lodged and you have to go. Okay, so it does smell like flat Pepsi. It tastes like flat Pepsi. Buy into it. It tastes like flat Pepsi <laughs> if you're sucking on it, but once you bite into it, have you bitten into it yet? Mm -mm. Bite into it and it tastes like um it tastes like gum. When you bite into it. I got a kind of a sour taste. Yeah, like one of them super dried out, over sugared gums that you get at like Halloween. No, I'm tasting. That's what I'm tasting. You get another one. You want another one? Yeah. It reminds me of those like little fizz candies that used to be everywhere. They were similar to like Altoids and stuff like that, where you like stick them in the mouth and they like automatically start to melt or whatever, but they taste like candy, like Coca Cola. Remember those? Mm mm. But if you bite it and then suck on it, it gives you more of that flat cola taste. You just rub it. Next one you get, rub your tongue on it real roughly and it like you start getting the cola taste more. They don't give you many in there. Oops, I'll take that one. They hit the floor again. Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. That made dirt, dirt, dirt hurt? This time you don't do it. Just like a little bit of time on it. Okay. Really rough though. You get it? Mm hmm. As you look at it, it gives you that cola taste. Mm -hmm. Can you see what the, it's something bros company. What's that said? Also the bro. Yeah, that's them. That's the people that make this. I kind of dig them. What say you? You dig them? I like them. I don't want them all. Come on, there's only one each. I don't Come on. Like that. Um, I'm kind of digging it. 
I wish it wasn't, I wish it tasted more like a cola. But I mean, I guess it'd be hard to taste exactly like a cola without the carbonation. Yeah. That's why it tastes black. I chewed it and look, I flattened it out mm -hmm. and then suck on it. I kind of dig them. So, here's your dough, brothers, for your. Oh, and the company's Nobel. N O B E L. Distributed by Hosho Doe Brothers. So, Nobel, for your. Uh, Cola candy. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a four point five. Now I'm gonna take away that point five, and you're only getting a four because these were expensive. I think this was like two dollars or three dollars. But then again, you got you figure they imported, so they're gonna be more expensive, I guess. So, eh, I'll stick with the four. What you give them? Mm hmm I'm good with it. I kind of dig these. I think it was like two fifty or three dollars. I got them at a place called Lolly and Pops candy shop in the mall a few months back. A lot of months. By the time this comes out, there'll be a lot of months back. I probably bought them in April of 17. Who knows? You know, I think so. Somewhere around April, maybe May. I don't know. Anyway. There you go. You got a four Nobel for your rock and cola. And plus the packaging. You Japanese folks, y'all come up with some cool packaging. Look at that. I mean, it's a dude with a cola head with glasses, sunglasses, and he's jamming on a guitar on one of them electric twangers. So over here, you have a subscription button. Please consider subscribing next to that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. You know when we have new content over here. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Bam, hit us with one. Doesn't matter which. Just let us know you're watching. Down below is the description box. Description of this video. With links to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and the Facebook. I'm more prevalent on Facebook and Twitter than I am on Instagram. Because I still ain't figured that out yet. Uh, anyway, there's also a link to this channel's homepage. There's also a link to my friend's t-shirt website where you can purchase Big Red Show t-shirts. That web address is T-E-E-I-M-P.com, T-E-M-P.com, where you can get your Big Red Show apparel. You can check out his stuff. He does anime, sci-fi, comic books, and all that nerdy stuff. Uh, uh, there's also a link to the PayPal if you want to help sponsor a video, you want to help... Uh, Send this kid through school. You never know. Whatever you want to do. You just want to shout out. I ain't afraid. Hit that PayPal if you want. If you don't want, just watch the videos. That's cool too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, type this comment. What type you want back? Show us yours and we'll show you ours. Uh, uh, ooh. Almost tastes like cola on the second try around. Anyhow, uh... I want to thank each and every one of y'all for hanging out with us. But I need you to do me a favor. Tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. Show them how you get down with Big Red and occasionally Little Red. And, you know, maybe they'd like to get down with us too. But there's lots of room on the sofa here. Lots of room on this side of the sofa. They could come and eat a snack with us. So, you know, share the video. Share it with the world. Because I'd like to teach the world to sing. In perfect harmony. Like the old Coke commercials, you know? Anyhow, thanks for watching. This is Big Red and Little Red for another episode of Big Red Snack Attack. And we'll see you next time at the vending machine. We outie. We got a movie to watch. What are we going to watch? we watching the original Blade Runner director's cut in preparation for the new Blade Runner 
coming out soon. Yeah, that's him. All right, Audi.